hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the next top next topic is alternators in parallel with infinite bus bar if we have some alternators those alternators are parallelly operated with the infinite bus bar just look at here this is the alternator one this is connected to a infinite bus bar and this is the alternator two and this is the third alternator so we will analyze this alternator for our reference to understand the operation so generally any alternator is rotated with some prime mover torque that is the tpm okay right and it is connected like this right and these are connected to and again this infinite bus bar having consisting of the infinite number of loads for example this is the load one load two and up to infinite we have infinite number of loads are available then how the operation will be done here we should look at here so we will we will discuss here here the infinite bus bar is one of the finite amount of power fed to the bus bar or consumed from the bus bar there will be no change in its terminal voltage as well as the frequency okay infinite bus bar is a having a very good character that infinite bus bar is having the terminal voltage vt and frequency f both we should have so every bus bar having the particular terminal voltage and the particular frequency okay so for this infinite bus bar if you give for infinite bus bar if you give so some power input power if you increases and if you take some output power as load from this infinite bus bar but the terminal voltage as well as frequency both are constant both are constant there is no change there is no change in its in its the terminal voltage as well as frequency generally terminal voltage is related to the excitation and frequency is related to the mechanical power input mechanical power input these two term things are related to each and every one next so an infinite bus bar can be considered as ideal voltage source so we will give one conclusion that is infinite bus bar is nothing but infinite bus bar we can give the conclusion is like that ideal voltage source you can name it as the ideal voltage source that is zero internal impedance it have some character that is the the internal impedance is zero and infinite mechanical inertia it having the mechanical inertia also infinite mechanical inertia inertia means mass generally the infinite inertia generally we can call it as the mass but inertia is the term related to rotational okay means no dropping voltage so wherever the zero internal impedance means generally the voltage drop should be the zero so when the mechanical inertia is infinite that means that will give the so speed as well as frequency both should be the constant speed and frequency both should be the constant so this is the and we can give so this is about infinite bus bar characteristics once again we will repeat it so generally infinite bus bar is operated as the ideal voltage source and it has zero internal impedance so that's why it has voltage drop is the zero and it has mechanical inertia is infinite so therefore it has constant speed as well as the constant frequency so this is about the infinite bus bar this is about the infinite bus bar next so we will discuss about the alternator how the alternator is working when we are giving the different different excitation so generally we have formula alternator working for working for different excitations different 
excitations alternator working for different excitations okay here the formula for the reactive power the formula for the reactive power is you know that that is the formula is like this v by xs e cos del minus v is the formula v by xs e cos del minus v is the formula so the working if the alternator is over excited the excitation is high for example the alternator is over excited then what happen what happen means here the over, over excited means what happen we can write like this that is the over excited means e cos del value e is more than the v e cos del value e is more than the v that means the this emf will more than the terminal voltage that should be the more than the terminal voltage then what happen the reactive power having the positive reactive power we have the reactive power value will become the positive then what happen the machine delivers the reactive power here the machine will be operated as delivers the reactive power and operated at lagging power factor whenever the machine consisting of reactive power is positive that machine we can write delivers reactive power and whenever the machine delivers the reactive power it will be operate at lagging power factor it will be operated the lagging power factor here the effect of armature reaction is the demagnetization we can call it demag demagnetization means the exit this will be over excited but reactive power should be uh, demagnetized that means the reactive power should be given to another machine given to another machine given to another machine then it will be possible then it will be possible next case so why did whenever the over excited then reactive power is a positive term and then reactive power it will be operated the lagging power factor next condition under excited second condition is the under excited okay if the machine under excited means the what happen here simply e cos del minus v e cos del minus v we can e cos del is less than v whenever e cos del value is less than v the reactive power the sign should be the negative we can give the reactive power will become the negative so what happen if if the machine absorb the reactive power for the machine absorb the reactive power and it will be operated at the leading power factor it will be operated at the leading power factor okay right if now we can call it as effect of armature reaction is magnetization that should be important okay that means machine receives taken or receives the reactive power generally at leading power factor generally we can call it if the machine takes the reactive power means that should call it will be operated at the leading power factor just look at here here point machine delivers means it will be operated at the lagging power factor the machine receives reactive power means it will be operated at the leading power factor okay next normal excitation if we have the normal excitation how how we can call it as normal excitation we will look at here if the machine is neither absorb the reactive power nor delivers the reactive power then it should be called operated at the unity power factor okay this is also important thing for example uh, if the machine is two things neither absorb absorb nor delivers so it should not be deliver nor delivers the reactive power then simply it will be operate at the power factor of unity power factor 
we can name it as it will be operated at the unity power factor then what happen here whenever the machine is operated at the unity power factor look at here the effect of armature reaction that is called cross magnetization the effect of armature reaction we can call it as the cross magnetization it will be operated at the cross magnetization okay so we can call it as the magnetization should be name it as the cross magnetization cross magnetization okay so this is the importance of the magnetization okay so in this session we will com complete it when how the infinite bus bar is working first thing second thing and if the machine is over excited and second thing if it is under excited if it is in normal excitation how the machine how the machine power factors or magnetization will be occur we are discussed okay so i hope all of you understand the session thank you